And I feel the reason that we all believe that we deserve happiness is because there is a voice of our own best interests that's inside of us that knows that, that knows that we deserve happiness. Can you think of something everyone can agree on despite the chaotic world we live in? It's a beautiful question. I feel like a majority, if not everyone, can agree on the idea that they want to be happy, that hopefully there's a way to be happy. And I feel the reason that we all believe that that we deserve happiness is because there is a voice of our own best interests that's inside of us that knows that, that knows that we deserve happiness, that each and every one of us comes here with this voice of our own best interest, the voice of perfection within us, the voice of truth within us. Some people call it uh, their inner being. Some people call it the Holy Spirit, the part of us that's untouched, the, the so many names for it. But it's the our connection to the divine. We're like the ray of the sun, the sun in the heavens, the, always in a state of perfection, complete illumination, oneness. And we come to this place, this earth, to bring a taste of that perfection. We're the ray of the sun. Our inner being knows this. So it knows that if we were to stay connected and committed to bringing that light here, that we literally would be in a state of perpetual happiness. That's the reason we came to bring light to the world in all of those different varieties of darkness that people experience. There is a possibility to tap the well spring of your inner being. And when you tap that, it's not an effort filled thing. It's not coercion. It's not delusional. This peaceful nature that we all have and all resonate with deeply, deeply, deeply beyond all the chaos and the fear and the gyrations of the ego, the pain and the problems. There's a part of us that knows what happiness is. The seed of happiness is there. And we only have to water it or bring the light to it, the sunlight to it, to let it grow more and more. We know this. There's a part of us that doesn't feel worthy, that voice of separation, because this is the voice of oneness, the oneness with what that is, the ray of the sun, always connected to the light of who we are. When we decide to connect to this by just relaxing and breathing in, that state of grace that's inherent in all of us before we go about any actions, doing anything at all, then we're in a place where we can receive that well-being and feel that sense of happiness, even without doing anything. So I highly recommend that since that's something we can all agree on, that despite the chaotic world we live in, that we all deserve or hope to be happy or aspire to be happy, then we don't know what makes us happy unless we connect with that voice that already knows our perfect being and the way, the only way to happiness is to relax into that perfection and that happiness that are already exists within us. The other thing I think that most people can agree on is that the innocence of a baby, when they first come, when a a child first arrives to earth, that there's this sense of perfection and innocence that everyone knows that a brand new baby is a miracle. And no matter what's going on in, in our lives, the chaos or the tumult, it's a pause to see that perfection arrive. That's that essence that each and every one of us has. You came in a miracle. No one denied that. Only very unconscious and separate people would ever, ever, ever imagine that a brand new baby is anything but a miracle. It's because they are so close and, and so much embody that perfection of what we are, that state of happiness and bliss and ease that we bring in to this life to share it, to live it, to shine it, and then everyone else gets a shot along with us at experiencing that. 
remember always, if you want a life that's full of happiness and feels like you're just in the flow of, of the best life ever, first and foremost, connect with your inner being, that voice of your own best interest, the truth of you, the perfection of you, that the whole world can be chaotic and crazy and full of mayhem. But this part of you would say to you always, you're perfect. You're beautiful. You're amazing. You're miraculous. And not just say it, but truly, deeply know it and mean it. That's what we all search for outside in the world, and we'll only find it inside of ourselves.